What's up everybody on YouTube? It is your man Alberto here with another video and today's video is going to be another sponsored video by Black Taylor. Now in today's Black Taylor haul, we do have five items for you. We have four pairs of pants and one top. I'm gonna go break down each item, how they feel, how they fit, all of that good stuff. And then after that, I'm gonna show you guys two outfits with photos, of course, which you guys can check out my Instagram right there for fire photos. But yeah, photos on top, outfits on deck, a lot of detail in this video, so definitely stay tuned. And if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because new videos on the way and they're gonna be fire, guys. I don't want you to miss them. I'm coming back with a lot of heat, so let's just get it, you know what I'm saying? And like always, our friends at Black Taylor are hooking you guys up with a 10% discount code, which is YOMAN10 for 10% off your entire order. So don't forget this code, guys. It helps you save some money and helps me keep making these videos. So Yo Man 10, 10% 10 off your entire order. So enjoy that savings while supporting the channel. So for the first step on this breakdown, we have the, hold on, I gotta give you guys my measurements, right? For reference, I'm about 5'10 in height. I have a waist 32 typically. I wear a size large in tops, a size medium in bottoms, and I weigh about 170 pounds. So use those measurements as reference when purchasing. Now let's get to the unbody. So for the first step on this breakdown, we have the X2 cargo in a size 32 in the sand colorway. Fits so comfy, you can really move without any restrictions. The colorway is nice and has black accents throughout. It has a simple two cargo pockets with key hook, belt loops, and loose cuffs with drawstrings adjustments. Not only that, it does have back pockets. I recommend going your true size, but maybe one size down as it doesn't stretch in the waistband. It is a little bit bigger, you have a little bit more space, but your true size is best, but you can always go down one size if you're on the slimmer side. Up next, we have the X6 Cargo, size 32 in the off-white colorway. I know you guys like the sound of that off-white. It does look really clean. Uh, the material feels a lot thicker too, and it's still stretchy, which is really nice. I like that quality. The off-white color does go well with the mochas. That's why you can see they're paired up here in the preview. It does come with two cargo pockets, back pockets, a key ring, and ankle zippers. Now the ankle zippers are a nice touch. We don't get to see them too often, but this right here is executed nicely. Also, there are drawstrings within the waist so you can tighten as you like. As far as sizing, I recommend going your true size or go down one size as the waist is still a little bit bigger. If you're on the chunkier side, stick with your true size. If you're on the slimmer side, you could probably go down one size. Third on deck, we have the C43 Cargos, size 32 in the sand colorway. Now these unfortunately are way too big. Like you can see they're way too big. Automatically go down one size at least. It does have cargo pockets, back pockets, belt loops, and it does have jogger style cuffings. We don't really see the jogger style cuffings too much, um, but these actually do not look bad with trainers, which you can see I have on right now. But like I said, guys, go down one size because your ass might be hanging out just like mine if you get the wrong size. See, this is why I'm here, guys. So you're not getting the wrong size and your ass cheeks aren't hanging out making you look weird. I'm here to give you the detailed reviews. Now the last pair of pants we have right here are the X7 Cargos, size 32 in the gray blue colorway. Now this one does fit well, but I feel like I could have gone down one size. Because the waist drawstrings are adjustable fit, I definitely think that one size down would have helped a lot more. It does come with back pockets, it's very stretcher, and it's thicker material, which is nice. This is gonna be great for the fall. Honestly, I love this color so much as well. It's a nice gray with a tint of that blue. Not to mention, this actually has ankle buttons, not ankle zips, but ankle buttons, so it's a little bit different. The only thing I wasn't feeling on these pair of pants were how big the cargo pockets were. If they're a little bit smaller, I would have liked that more, but if you're into the bigger, baggier look, then this is actually probably a good style for you. Personally, I do just like the pockets to be a little bit slimmer. Drop a like, my boy. Drop a subscribe while you're at it. So luckily we do have one top to show you guys today and that is going to be the bomber jacket, a size medium in the cream colorway. Now as far as sizing, I did go down one size for my true size. So I'm truly a size large, right? But I went down to a size medium. And as you can see, it still fits a little bit big. Now if I were to go down to a size small, I think it'd be too small in the arms and the waist as the length is just right there. It's definitely more wide than length, but it is what it is. So be careful not to go down two sizes because it might be too short for you. I think the perfect work around this is either if you're chunky, you're gonna be chilling, or you need to wear a hoodie underneath. I think that right there will even out that look of that 
that little bit bigger look. It does come with a couple pockets, one on the front, one on the side, and it does come with quilted lining, so you're gonna be warm during the fall and winter times. Now, as far as the color cream, I would say it's more of a grayish cream than a true cream. You can still see that tannish cream in there, but it's slightly darker tint. But enough talking, let's jump into the outfits. Okay, starting out with outfit number one, we went with the black undershirt, brown vest on the upper, paired with the X6 cargos in the off-white colorway, which I thought matched perfectly with the Jordan 1 mochas. For accessories, I went with gold as that's what I've been rocking a lot lately. I think this is a perfect fit for the end of summer or the beginning of fall when it starts to cool down a little bit more. And as well right here, you can see the key ring actually in use. Outfit number two, this outfit kind of threw me off from a color perspective a little bit, but I like throwing it together. I chose a bomber jacket for the upper in the cream colorway, burgundy long sleeve for the undershirt, X7 cargos for a different look, color speaking, which went great with the Jordan 1 Ama Meniers. I think the burgundy and the Ama Meniers went great with the undershirt, then the cream on the jacket also went with the shoes. Personally, I think with or without the jacket, it does look good, or if I had a burgundy hoodie underneath, I think that would have been a lot better. Now, as far as accessories on these, I think silver could have worked as well, but I've been rocking gold, like I said, a lot lately, so that's what I stuck with. Okay guys, coming back from the on body, I hope you guys liked it. If you guys like the outfits or the on body, all the breakdowns, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I hope you guys liked the content that you just saw. It took a lot of work from the backgrounds, the locations, just everything in general, from the little haircuts, the setups I'm doing. It's a lot of work, it's time consuming guys, but I do it for you to have banger videos, good quality, high quality, detailed videos. That's me, that's what I do, that's why you're here. Or hopefully that's why you're here and hopefully you stick around for more because I would love to show you more. Once again, shout out to my people at Black Taylor for giving you guys that discount code YOMAN10 to get 10% off your entire order. Use the code guys, not only does it help you guys save money, but it does help me keep making these videos for you. I'm not saying I'm the best YouTuber at all, but I sure as shit give you guys high quality detailed videos and I know a lot of people do not get that. So all I'm asking is a thumbs up and a subscribe because I'm I'm about to hit 15K, guys. I know we just did 10K, but we're gonna get to 15K soon. So let's keep grinding, right? If you guys have any comments on what you would change on the outfits or the actual pieces or any questions on the pieces, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I have nothing else to say except, you know, we got more in store. That's all I gotta say, actually. We got more in store. Hey, but that's gonna do it for me, guys. So stay fresh and stay fly. I'm out.